Yeah. Yeah. And so are you still with the same training, uh, training group from last year? Um, yeah, I, I'm still, still with the same, uh, main coach. His name's Ed. Um, uh, and he programs, uh, he programmed last year and programmed this year as well. I also added in a new coach, um, at two new coaches, actually Zach, uh, who works on my strength and, uh, accessories. And then Rich, who's, I've been working a lot with him on endurance and running like a lot of my weakness stuff. So, um, and then I also have a recovery and nutrition specialist. His name's Alex, and he he helps me with that. So I have yeah, a, I have a, a team around yeah. me too this year. That's a that's I, a big that's a big team too. Yeah, I'm I'm super grateful for them. Like I know that a lot of the top guys in the sport have multiple guys around them, kind of talking to each other. Yeah, and I think that's starting to become a little bit mainstay you know a lot of the uh individual athletes have these people around them these pieces um and you know i'm super grateful to have it in the lead up to this year yeah and so you were talking about your endurance was kind of like lacking a little bit and now you have a coach for this year so yeah. now now is it and that was like running for you like mm -hmm. like you're like okay i could do this i like this is it like mm -hmm. is it more fun now than it was before oh i mean 10 times yeah i mean i've We'll we'll see how it translates on the competition floor. I mean, I'm I'm sure it'll be a lot better, but in training so far, it's been it's been great. And even in the opening quarters, uh, some of the there hasn't been any running or anything, but some of the longer domain stuff, it wasn't as you know threatening to me as it was in the past. Like, has I, I wouldn't get as jittery and as nervous for those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. And um, so do you typically so the program that I follow on misfit. So they like every like Thursday and Sunday, they kind of do like a, a, it's called like a mafetone. It's like zone two training. Mm. So where you get on a bike for like 45 minutes to like 90 minutes at like, you know, 150 minus your age, which mm. would be like, you know, two beats per minute for me. Cause I'm so damn old. But, uh, but like, is that something what you do to kind of like on your off days or help out with your endurance? Yeah. Yeah. I, I've uh, incorporated a lot of zone two starting uh ever since september of last year uh we did a, a lot of the zone two block stuff leading up to rogue and then uh, at the beginning of this year and then progressed it to a, a more of a higher pace higher intensity to now mm -hmm. yeah and so are you are you really like pushing it right now since it's come, come up to semifinals like like yeah. like pretty much like lying on the floor every day just you know kind of like dying a little bit I mean, yeah, definitely the intensity's uh, gone up. I mean, it's been a test for sure, like mental and physical, um, much more so than last year, just uh, with the, the type of training that I've been doing. So, you know, testing myself now mentally some days I'm like, oh, shoot, I'm slow and, you know, I'm not as confident in myself. But um, I think that overall it'll pay off in the end, even even though some days I feel like crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so do, do you have anybody that like other than your coaches is there like obviously probably your parents but like are there other people that you're able to talk to and kind of like you know talk to them about your concerns like hey i didn't feel great today like you know and like kind of like not not take you off the ledge but kind of like talk to you and say like you know hey everything's gonna be okay uh i would say like you said my parents my coaches they they fill that role for me um I, as far as like peers, um, you know, same same age. Uh, I, I I don't have that many like training partners or you know people I talk to that much on a daily basis. There are some members at the gym that are really good friends of mine uh, that are coming to support in California too. But uh, yeah, I I don't know if exactly that the role you're talking about, but. Um, I do have that if that's what you're asking. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it could be anybody like your coaches and your parents. So, I mean, yeah. obviously I think the main group of people is going to be your parents anyway, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you're with yeah. them like all the time, not with them all the time, but like they're, they're the closest people to you. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yep. Awesome. And so you were talking about going to California. So this year's semifinals is at Carson. Mm -hmm. So how excited are you for going to the tennis stadium? Dude, I, I've, I've been watching the game since, uh, 2014 so um yeah I'm, I'm very familiar with that arena that whole vibe it, at least for what they show they've showed on camera but um yeah I'm, to be there in person is going to be pretty surreal 
Dude, I would I would love to be like an athlete just walking out, just like you get like you know, you get your name announced and you just run to your lane mm-hmm. and like you just see the tennis team. And I guarantee you that place is gonna be like sold out too. Mm-hmm. So I, I just like I hope so, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean it should be. So I mean that's the, the old tennis stadium, but and like see all the fans around you out in the California sun and just like mm-hmm slinging some weights and like getting on the bike and stuff like that yeah and just seeing old crossman movements too it's which is awesome dude yeah it's it's gonna be so cool uh i'm curious to see what if there's any like change in the in the venue if they updated anything since since they uh they had the games back in 2016 was the last year but yeah, like i said i i memorized all the games events all the people competing there because i watched like ever since you know i've been i've been like nine years old starting at cross yeah <laughs> yeah and so um what's what's the game plan of you heading the, are you going to be there like a couple weeks in advance or like i know you're going to head down no. but like no just just that week yeah yeah that week I'll, I'll be there that week and um it's just pretty sunny here in washington so i've been getting some good heat on me during training uh doing some of the work outside hopefully that translates but uh yeah for now i i it's, it's going to be that same week for me. 